Hey peeps, um, I'm going to do a winter look today. I've just come back from England and my hair, my my face and my skin is really, really dry. And um, yeah, I just needed a lot of hydration. So I went to my pals at um, the Ultimate Beauty House at Labrador on the Gold Coast. And um, they suggested to me that I do a moisturizing facial and all that sort of stuff because obviously they have all that there they can do. And then we sat down and we also talked about making um, a lip gloss, which is really, really moisturizing. And glosses usually aren't my thing because I'm not real keen on, you know, your hair getting stuck in them and them being all sticky and whatnot. But the Lip Lab lip glosses are not sticky. So I went to them and we made a lip gloss. Yeah, so let's get into the chit chat and I'll put some makeup on and I'll talk about what they have available. And I'll show you the process of going and making the um, gloss. I just did a sort of a snippet process because obviously you saw when I made the um, lipstick and I'll link that video down below. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm first going to start with a primer and I'm using this one. Just going to smear oh, that primer all over my face. So yeah, I was looking at all my lipsticks and stuff like that and I realised that some, I've got lots and lots of matte, put my hair up, lots of matte lipsticks and I was just like, I am too dry after being on that plane and with it being winter here, to put on a matte lipstick. My lips are so dry and I just couldn't bring myself to applying a matte lipstick to my face because my face is just so dry. So I just wanted something that was going to hydrate and bring back a bit of life to my lips. So this is where I decided to give the Ultimate Beauty House or the Lip Lab Gold Coast a call. And they are so good there, they really are. I've got a really vicious habit of attacking the dry skin on my face too so all right and to give my face a little bit of a glow I'm going to go in with the strobing um, what would you call them liquids yeah drops from Australis so I'm going in with both so there's more of a tanny colored one and a pinky colored one I'm going to go more on the tan side of things so just to my palette that I had my primer on just going to squeeze out a nice big drop of the tan and then just pop a little bit of the pink on the top and I'm just going to with my brush that I use to apply my primer I'm just going to mix them around a little bit like so and I'm going to apply this to my whole face now you're going to think what on earth are you doing but what's going to happen is going to give my whole face a highlighted effect and when I apply my foundation and whatnot it'll knock it back and nearly even mattify it but then when I spray my fixing spray and wet down those powders and stuff like that it'll actually give me like a glowing from within kind of situation if you've got an oily complexion I probably wouldn't go quite so ham but I have as I've been saying seriously dry skin at the moment so the more I can do to make it look alive again the better the ultimate beauty house where I get my lipsticks um, done also offer facials and waxings and all that sort of stuff and they're based at Labrador on the Gold Coast so I'm looking suitably like a tin man and then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation it's a nice um, aluminizing foundation it doesn't dry down too matte I'm just going to put a couple of pumps of that on my palette again and again with the same brush I'm just going to apply that to my face it's been my favourite technique um, all this winter because it just gives my skin a really youthful sort of look. Then I'm going to go in with my Wet Beauty Blender and just blend it all. It gives your skin a really dewy sort of complexion. And then I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Put a smidge of that on the palette. Okay. I'm 
just going to lightly blend the bye bye under eye into the areas that I crease. Get to that in a minute. I'm just going to go in with my little real techniques. Ow, baby blender. Just get right up into that corner. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder and set under my eyes and anywhere I put the concealer. And because I'm happy with the coverage, I'm going to actually go in back into the Laura Mercier and just put a little bit on a big fluffy brush. Just a little bit, not too much. And just run that over the rest of my face. Now it looks like I've taken away all that good work of illumination underneath, but once I set it with a fixing pump spray, the illumination will be back. Now, I think I'll do my eyebrows next. I'm going to use this new product from Rimmel called Brow This Way, and it's in a little thingy. I'm just going to comb through my brows. Then I'm going to fix it with the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. I'm going to then proceed to prime my eye. Proceed, like I'm some professional. I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just using a little synthetic brush. Then out of my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm going to go in and do a mix of that one and that one, the yellowy shade and the whiter shade, and just set my eyes with a big fluffy owl natural hairbrush. I'm going to go into the ColourPop shade Brady. sort of dusty pink shade it's so pretty just on the very edge of that pink I'm just going to soften it a bit and then with another Delium Tools brush oh, sorry they were BH Cosmetics brushes I'm just going to just in the last part there Oh, like in the outer third. And then I'm going to go in with a little Delium Tools brush like... Actually, a little Delium Tools brush 772 into Colourpop shade Paradox. So on there, it's really pretty. Take the lid off. Really pretty matte, maroney sort of colour. And I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. Up into the outer V. much all we're going to do for the eyes. Then I'm going to go into my waterline with charcoal. I have Horace pencil, I've only got a schnubbin left. And I'm only going to do my top waterline. And then with a liquid liner, I'm just going to press the brush of the liquid liner just along the very edge of my lash line. I'm not doing a wing, I'm just darkening up the lash line. I'm 
I'm then going to go in with my Max Factor Masterpiece Max Mascara and apply that to my top lashes. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, just on the outside bottom lashes more so. Then I'm going to go in with Kiss Lashes in the, in the shade, in the style Peony. Alrighty, then I'm going to contour with my NYX uh, blush in taupe. And when I'm contouring, I kind of just lay the brush at the start, like so, and I just flick until I've run out of face. And that's usually where I start my contouring. Nothing too special. My temples and up into my hairline and then I'm going to go into my Coco collection by Kylie Cosmetics palette and I'm going to use the bronzer now to um, bronze oh I love this stuff I have to buy another one. Is that in my hair? And I just blend the edge of the contour with the bronzer so there's a nice gradient. And I do the same around my hairline. So pretty. And then from the same palette, I'm going to use the blush. And I'm using another Hokohoto brush. That was a, I think I mentioned that that was a Hokohoto blush with the bronzer. I'm just going to. Use the blush, sort of concentrating it on the apple back, just like so. I love the shade of this blush. And then I'm going to go into my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I'm going to go into the highlight of that, if I can get into it. Ah, oh, there's a thing of light right down the center of my face. So that's the highlighty thing. So I'm just going to pick up some of that on my Hokohoto brush. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A little bit above my eyebrow. So a little bit on the bridge of my nose and some of my cupid's bow and the very tip of my nose, it's the last bit. And just a little bit, whatever's left on the brush, just kind of run in the middle of my forehead. There's light! And then I'm going to go in with my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. And of course the perfect accompaniment to this is my Lip Lab Lip Gloss. Let's have a quick look at the one that I made.
was the one that I made and here is the finished product in its little case so it looks exactly like as if you were buying it from the shop so I'm just going to open it up and that is the product there it's a really rich red lip gloss I'm just going to take my MAC lip liner in world just to define the edges of my lips and then I'm going to apply my Lip Lab Gold Coast lip gloss And there you have it peeps, that is the winter look, getting all refreshed and moisturised. This lip gloss is so amazing, it's not sticky, it doesn't do that gloopy thing that glosses do. It's um, really, really, really hydrating. It's like wearing a lip balm and having all that extra colour and hydration is just amazing. I will definitely be going back and making some more of these lip glosses to see through winter. Um, they're an amazing product and all the information for Lip Lab Gold Coast I'll link in the description bar below. But um, yeah, if you go in, let them know that Manny T sent you. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell down below. I hope you're having an amazing day.